He says in verse 3, why do you see the speck that is in your brother's eye? Right? We all do this. Oh, there is something really that just bugs me about my husband or my wife or my sister, my brother, my in-laws, my friend, my coworker. Oh, I wish they could hear this. I wish they were here. This is what they need to hear. This is how they need to change. Jesus says, why do you see the speck in your brother's eye? But no, notice the log in your own eye. Ouch. When we point the finger, as it's been said, there are four fingers pointing back at us. The point Jesus is making isn't that we should never judge, but that we should never judge hypocritically. The problem isn't judgment, but self-righteousness. Only seeing the other person's problems and not seeing or dealing with our own problems. You know, commentators on this passage have reflected on the fact that the piece of sawdust in the log are actually the same substance. Sawdust and log are both wood but different sizes. So we can see sin in others but not in ourselves. My husband isn't being very kind, okay, but have you been a terror to the whole family this week? My wife isn't being content, okay, have you been complaining for the last four days straight? My children aren't being generous. When was the last time they saw you share anything? My church isn't very welcoming. When was the last time that you had someone over for dinner? You can see the speck in someone else's eye, but not the log in your own. Notice that Jesus is teaching us that we need others. We see the sawdust in someone else's eye. We cannot see the log in our own eye. No matter how much we try and how determined we can be and how disciplined we are and how many books we read, we cannot see the log in our own eye. We need others to point it out for us. Now we can justify ourselves and we can make all sorts of excuses and we have the best little mini lawyer in our brain who can come up with all the reasons why it's not a log. 